Hi, I'm Rob and today I'd like to show you a uh, portable saw stop lock system for uh, in this case then the electric uh, miter saw. It's usable on many other uh, machines like uh, drill presses, uh, hand miter saws, that sort of. It consists out of uh, thread rods of one meter and a few bushings. And every time, uh, it's an endless system, and every time when you want to extend it, you use a bushing and another rod. The rods, they come from the airco uh, and uh, plumbing uh, technique. So uh, then you know where to ask for. And uh, there are systems uh, for sale, but they are fairly uh, pricey. They are very expensive. And if you drop a beam or whatever by accident on it and it's bent, you have to replace it. And that's also expensive. And these rods, they come very cheap. And if they are bent, you just replace them. And uh, they take up uh, in the workshop very, very less space. And uh, that's what I like to show to you today. This is then uh, a one meter setup. I did it with, uh, at the moment, uh, only one rod. Uh, it's just uh, to explain it uh, to you. But those rods, they are extendable. Because if you connect rod on rod on rod, you can go uh, endless. Well, here you see then the connection between uh, two rods with the bushing. It's uh, divided then 50-50 uh, into the bushing with uh, a control nut. And so you can go on and on and on. This is then uh, a close-up of the top block and it has a, a layup in here you can lay up the material so uh, if you have uh, longer planks or beams you cl can lay them up like this and they are right away supported if you have to do uh, beams and uh, from five meters six meters and you lay it up of course uh, by adding uh, a few more of these rods I uh, you can work with uh, the clamp bolt but if you think well that's a bit too flimsy you also can close it up between two nuts which you see in here i do then a washer and a nut both sides and i clamp it just off on the rod so uh, it's a very uh, accurate system and i think uh, you even can go to uh, zero or uh, one tenth of a millimeter it's just how accurate you work but for me it works uh, pretty accurate so you can do uh, big beams on it. I did already uh, eight by fours uh, on it, something like that. So uh, and it works uh, perfectly well. Also the whole rod system, it's a very solid system. Then uh, we have uh, to work closer to the machine. We have also another uh, adjustment rod and. Uh, I show it to you on the machine. Well, if you work uh, for shorter pieces on the table, uh, you can do that then with this uh, other rod. And this is uh, then borrowed from the hand miter saw. And this can then move freely over the table and you can go uh, closer to the blade. Well, this is then a longer setup and this is then suitable uh, for, uh, yeah, longer pieces well another uh, handy addition especially uh, when you work on the floor or uh, in the garden on the floor is an uh, adjustable uh, height block this block uh, you can uh, adjust it on a certain height to lean beams or planks of wood or whatever on it and then as last uh, a very handy addition for um, such a machine is uh, Two base plates. Well, I used it already uh, for uh, a number of years, and uh, for me, uh, it was uh, or it is quite successful. And that's why I thought, well, uh, maybe I can share it with you people. Maybe uh, you can do can use it or do something with it uh, in the future. But uh, I want to leave it with this. Anyway, uh, thanks uh, for watching, and maybe till the next time. Bye bye.